Hello everyone and welcome back to the Honey Bee Stamps YouTube channel. This is Kelly and today's video is all about a new collection of products from our holiday cheer release. And these are called the Country Christmas Wreath. There is a die set as you can see here. There's also a small stamp set. But the dies are really the star of the show of this one. So you're going to get all types of fun uh, wreath designs, florals, and then the stamps are going to add all the details back onto those die cuts. Here's some inspiration from our design team members. This beautiful card is from Keiko. This different card is from Jenny. I love the little lemons and the beigey florals with the Merry Christmas. And I love this vintage embroidery hoop here from Becky. She's added some red florals and lots of pine boughs and things like that. Super cute. Okay, so let's take a close-up look at that country Christmas wreath. This is the stamp set, so that's all your tiny little details. And then that large die set, that's what's going to give you the wreath, the pine boughs, your florals, the little stockings and cookies. There's also a couple of great sentiment dies in this large die set. And I am going to build a card that uses one of each of those dies. So I'm not going to cut, you know, tons and tons of the pieces of pine or anything like that. I'm going to show you what you can get if you just cut those things one time. It's really important or it's a lot easier for me if I use the negative space or what would be the trash from your die cuts. I also have all my die cuts here in my little dish and I've done that in just traditional Christmas colors. I have my wreath cut and then here is the direction we're going with my little card. So that's all of the pieces just cut one time. And like I said, I love to save the negative pieces or what would be the trash from your die cuts. I'm going to use a sticky mat that would normally be uh, used in like a Cricut machine or a, some kind of die cutting machine where you need a sticky mat. I have a piece cut and you can see it's well loved there in my Misty. And that makes it so easy to stick those pieces of cardstock in there and get everything stuck down so I can kind of mass produce and stamp everything at one time. Now, of course, you can use any ink color or anything you want. I'm going to do some of these in an embossing powder because I wanted my cookies to look like they had white icing. I also chose some really pretty Christmas colors and reds and greens and glitters. I'm going to start out, like I mentioned, with the white. Um, it's really important for some of these small images to use a detailed embossing powder. So... I have my uh, Ranger uh, fine detail embossing powder there in white. And when I heat set that, it's going to look like glossy, nice white icing on those cookies. And then, of course, I have some red glitter and I'm dipping that in um, while that is hot. And it kind of picks up extra glitter and extra embossing powder. And I just heat set it again. Now I'm moving on. I set in the candy cane and I'm doing exactly the same thing. Uh, as you notice there, I really get my head over the top of those images to make sure that they're all lined up and everything looks nice and straight before I stamp everything down. And uh, I'm just going to line up the flower. You can see my crazy curly gray hairs there. And I'm also going to line up that cute little stocking that has all of the little stitched detail there making sure to hit all these little images with my uh, anti-static powder tool. And then again, I'm gonna hit this with some white embossing powder on some of these images and red and glittery embossing powder uh, on others. I also pull in some gold. So on or in that stamp set, there are some little extra dots, some little extra flourishes that are really cool just to mix and match and add in to the background of your wreaths or your florals. So I'm taking one of those images and it's just lots of scattered dots and there's several in that stamp set and I'm stamped that around with my Versamark ink and then I made a boo-boo stamping this by hand. You can see it there in the bottom left hand corner. I'm going to hide that when it's all said and done with my wreath. So I just brushed off the embossing powder and moved on. 
I did add some teal embossing powder or teal ink, excuse me, in the background with those little dots. And those just scatter here and there and add just a little extra something in the background there. It's almost a tone on tone look. You can see the beautiful gold dots there with the princess gold embossing powder. And then this is my favorite part. This is where I get to take all of those stamped die cuts and start adding those here and there around on my wreath and gluing those down. I'm using my Honeybee Stamps Precision Glue and just adding those here and there with my little tweezers and I laid them all out. That kind of helped me uh, decide where I wanted to place everything. And then I can just add my liquid glue and kind of tap that down um, where I need them. You can also see where I've used those little dots there in the background and how some of them kind of poke out. And my boo-boo spot is all covered up. I wasn't too worried about it. So that's why I just brushed off that part of the embossing powder and went ahead and heat set the rest. Um, because I knew it wasn't going to show and wasn't going to be a big deal on this card. Had it been a sentiment or something like that, I probably would have wanted to start fresh with a new piece of cardstock. So now I have all my little pieces here and there and all added on. And it's a reminder, this is just one pass through or one cut of all those dies in that set. So I didn't cut out multiples of every one. You could totally do that and make a fuller wreath or if you wanted more florals or you wanted just a wreath of stockings or gingerbread men, you of course could do that. But I wanted to show you what the dies and stamps were gonna look like if you just used one of each. I added some of our gold adhesive gems and then I'm gonna use the Merry Christmas sentiment from that stamp set and I'm gonna heat emboss with the same gold embossing powder on the inside of my card. Once I get that all finished, I can kind of wipe away that anti-static powder, add a little bit of Winkastella or a glossy pin there with a lot of glitter and shimmer on the inside. And I'm gonna slow this down so you can look at all that shine and shimmer, perfect for the holidays. So fun. And then I've got another one here that I've adhered all the little pieces on white cardstock instead of the turquoise. And then as a reminder, we have a lot of mix and match floral die sets. So there's a winter one, a fall, a spring, and then also tropical. These are fun to mix and match and build together. And so this is also a fun way to get more use out of these bouquet builders and that fantastic wreath in that set. So here I've built a wreath with the fall bouquet builder die set and the winter. So here's a look at the fall. There's a couple of great vessels in this one. There's a jar and a pumpkin and then sunflowers and lots of pretty fall leaves. And then in the winter one, there is layering poinsettias, a candle, some holly and berries, and even a bow and pine cones. So that one's a beautiful one. And then you can see how fun that these are built onto that wreath, whether you choose to do it in brown or craft cardstock or a green. Now the bows that I have used on these two wreaths are from the No Peeking die set. So this is a look at that die set that has lots of those cute little bows. And I just cut those out of some of our pattern paper, some that I thought went with fall and with Christmas. Here's a look at that No Peeking stamp set. That's the one that has all those great bows and ribbons. So you can make your card and design it to look like a package. And then here's a look at all of my finished wreaths up close. So I have my holiday and Christmas wreath there at the top. And then my fall wreath with sunflowers and my little gingham bow. And then my beautiful poinsettias with my buffalo checked bow. I love that one, so fun. And then I also wanted to show you a awesome card from one of our design team members. And this card is from Lisa. Now she has used our coordinating stencil. Here's a look at that stencil and you can see all the little images there, the stocking and the floral and the um, little berries and leaves there. 
Here, Lisa has used that stencil and then the detailed images from that stamp set to create this really cool Christmas card. So there you have it, guys. A close-up look of our brand new country Christmas wreath, stamps, dies, and the stencil. All these products can be found at honeybeestamps.com, and I will talk to everyone soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.